formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a and side. His name is Obama. You're listening to Alex Jones. My love is in league with the freeway. My love is in league with the freeway. My love is in league with a 50 cow. I'll shoot an old truck at a mile away with a tracer. I'll watch the fuel tanks explode into the night. Then I'll fire nine more rounds explosively. They'll all impact exploding in the night. Why did I deserve to be born in Texas? It just gets better and better. There you go. I'm just making stuff up. That really happened, but making it up as I go on top of the wonderful voice of the golden god, as he's known. Robert Plant, bringing us in, broadcasting worldwide. What's that What's that door song, the Texas beat? You know, the Texas backbeat. It starts out with Jim Morrison going, yeah, it's a Texas sound. We need to find that. Just like Jim Morris and the Texas Sound or Texas Radio, uh, 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 Texas Ranch Radio. What is the name of that song? We need to come in at the next segment with that. I haven't played that in like 15 years on radio. Listen, we got a bunch of other news to cover in the next segment. I'm taking your phone calls. It is called The Wasp, but it's got another name. It's like Texas Radio, I think. 
uh, John in Canada, John in Michigan, uh, James in Arkansas, Brad in Nebraska, Jeremy in Illinois. We're talking to former, current military folks over in Ukraine, you name it, about what they think about the situation. I know it's not as important about a bunch of Botox, egomaniac people in their Hollywood that's going bankrupt, L.A. that's collapsing in the mayor's own words situation. And not that I don't like some of the movies, but give me a break. I'll choose what I like. I'm going to sit there and watch them all in their big narcissistic event. Let's go ahead and talk to John in Canada, recently retired military. Uh, what is your take on all this, John? Well, that's interesting, John. What else do you think, John? John is the equivalent on talk radio of disappearing ink. Uh, he's not there. Let's let him go. Let's go to James in Arkansas. Next caller, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Alex. Hey, you say you're a military veteran, spent a lot of time in Ukraine. What's your take on this? Yeah, um, yeah, thanks for not being a sellout and telling the truth about what's going on over there. I'm trying my best. I've studied it, but I still don't want to be overconfident because it's complex. What is your take? Yeah, I spent pretty much 05, 06, 07 over there in Kiev, Odessa, Nikolaev, Zvestopol, Zaborozhye, Kharkov. Most of the Ukrainians, I don't believe they want to join the EU. Well, they voted against it openly, yes. Yeah, they... So George Soros is showing them now. Hmm? That's right. They're used to more freedoms and liberties than what we usually have here. They're not going to like joining up with the EU. I think there are more, most of them are on the side of Russia there, I would have to say. Now, in the western part near Poland, there are, uh, <clears throat> you know, Nazi sympathizers. Oh, don't speak Russian, speak Ukrainian. And uh, Hitler was a good guy. Too bad he didn't. Oh, win. no. The uh, deputy prime minister is in, oh, literally photos of him hiling Hitler with images of women with blonde hair shooting electricity out of their hands. I mean, wow, I've never seen fascist iconography like that. I mean, they're really taking the cake now. Yeah, I hear you. But I guess George Soros is coming home. I mean, he was a top Nazi sympathizer in his area of what was it, Romania. Yeah, I sure hope they don't, uh, the EU don't mess around or the West too much over there anymore. So I would like to move Well, you know, there. Napoleon and Hitler messed around with Russia, and you know how that ended up. Yeah, yeah. My wife, she's from Peru, and she can't wait to go visit over there with me. Well, I hear and I see you know, the women and the culture of Ukraine are very, very nice looking ladies. Uh, and I hear they're very feminine. And of course, that's politically incorrect. But don't worry, the EU will put stuff in their water to make the women look like men and the men look like women. So they'll, 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 they'll get the Ukrainians. They'll get the five year olds wearing dresses and saluting Obama when they're done. Yeah, I hope not. Uh, very healthy over there. I can meet, uh, meet up with other Americans and believe how old they are, 45 or 60, and they look like they're 25. Or I 30. have talked to businessmen that go anywhere in Eastern Europe where they're off the GMO and stuff. They go, man, I smoked cigarettes, drank, ate like a pig, lost 40 pounds. Like the French are just eating like pigs, smoking, having sex eight times a day. Live longer, less cancer, because there's no GMO, folks. I mean, I, I just, it, they live like pigs, and they live longer than us. My, my dad was growing up, it was chicken fried steaks, total stuff constantly, and there was no issues with weight. I'm telling you, GMO and rats make them big and fat. I appreciate your call. God bless you. What an evil American. He loves freedom. Jeremy in Illinois, you're on the air. Go ahead. What's your take on the situation in Ukraine? Yeah, hello, this is Jeremy. Oh, uh, yeah, you know. No, we know. We announced you're Jeremy. Go ahead. Uh, Are you former military? Uh, no, I'm not. I don't mean to be rude to you. Have you been to Ukraine? No, I've never been to New Ukraine. But see, but, but see, I don't uh, screen the calls. I said former military has been over there, or active duty, or people in Ukraine or Russia. We want that intel. You got 30 seconds. Make your point. Yeah, you know, there's a global banker that's in charge of Ukraine now. That's right. They put an IMF and, uh, banker in there. That's right. Good point. Yeah. And uh, now the, the Russia has sent a, uh, a uh, military vessel down to Cuba, and I wonder if they're listening in to uh, tapping into America, I wonder. Oh, I think they're paying attention, yes, and they've got their own issues. I'm not, again, saying they're a bunch of angels. It's just that it's all, and I'm trying to be mean to you, Jeremy. It's just we're talking to, look, I haven't gotten one, and usually I can do this. This is very upsetting. If I kept this for a few days, the lines would be loaded with it. I want calls from Ukraine. I know most of the phones aren't working there, I've been told, in some areas or Russia, or Poland, or Germany. What is your take in Europe on this? We'll open the phones completely up.
Okay, 877-789-ALEX, dial your country code and use that, or the international line, your country code, access code, 512-646-1776. 512-646-1776. I want your take over there on this. John in Michigan, former military with Ukraine experience. Go ahead, John. Alex, hey. Go ahead. Um, I know a lot about the history of Ukraine, and uh, I... Personally, I think this is an imperial policy going back 200 years by the British Empire. You know, uh, they have this constant encroachment upon Russia. And uh, it, it's telling because, I mean, uh, the economic situation in, in the transatlantic region right now, it's, I personally, I think it's going to blow out. And uh, it's going to make, like, Lehman Brothers look like a joke, you know. And uh, the, the uh, it's potential disintegration of incomplete Europe financial system, U.S. financial system. Uh, then you're confronted with a completely different dynamic in the Asian world where China, Korea, India, Russia, they're all progressing, you know? Um, so what comes into play is uh, the old geopolitical impulse of the British Empire to say, you know, we can't tolerate Asian countries basically advancing or developing. They'd rather risk total destruction, you know. Uh, of and by the way, what you're saying is Brzezinski's own policy, and it doesn't mean we progress either. The, the, and it's not even the British that are doing it. The British Empire model of balkanization, Royal Commission, 1949, bankrupt everyone but the elite to control us is Agenda 21, is the neo-fascist fake liberal agenda that is being carried out in the name of liberalism. Absolutely right. They want to stop everyone's progress. You have hit the nail on the head. Go ahead. I mean, what really makes uh, a dangerous situation here is the geographical position of Ukraine. It reaches deep into the former Soviet territories, you know, and uh, various uh, points in history. Ukraine has, uh, you know, been part of Russia. You know, Kiev was actually the capital of Russia at one time. That's right. And not, not until their independence in the early 90s. Um, yeah, and you know, Ukraine's border is only 480 kilometers from Moscow. I mean, that's like the, the distance between San Francisco and L.A. I mean, it's yeah, no, the Russians in the last 400 years have had countless wars in that area with everybody trying to take them over. So this is like a football field they've been on constantly. And they know they're letting them get up to their one-yard line, NATO and George Soros, who wants to, you know, sterilize every Russian child there is, basically. That's the agenda. So they're right up to their border. I'm not romanticizing the Russian government, but at least they're not genocidal against their own people. Putin pays Russians to have kids. It's, it's unbelievable. God bless you. Another great caller. I just can't believe how smart these callers are today. Brad Nebraska is a retired military, Crimean Russian language uh, expert. So we'll get his take as a final caller on that. And then I've got some other news and a special report. Lifestyles of the Drunken Brainless. Uh, we'll premiere that here on air coming up. Straight ahead, I am your host, Alex Jones. And... We've got a special visit from Obi-Wan Kenobi. These aren't the radio stations you're looking for. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've
you've got the Life Straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR Hand Crank Generator, to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation, 3rd Edition by Joel Skousen. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand Crank Shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the